abstract uh, painter. I do a lot of like mixed media work where it, that involves a lot of like different materials um, as well as like a lot of like pouring techniques and stuff. So I started painting like more seriously around my junior year of high school. I had started taking like AP college classes and I had a teacher there who really kind of inspired me to like push myself towards becoming an artist like full time and stuff. So um, I went to UNT for studio art and stuff like that. And whenever I graduate, hopefully go somewhere else for a master's degree and stuff. So, <laughs> Well, growing up, I definitely didn't think I'd end up being an artist. Like I wanted to be like a firefighter or something like that when I was growing up. And, you know, when I was taking these classes in high school, just kind of like for fun and I had a really good support system from my mom and my stepdad and they really kind of, my mom's an architect, so it kind of like helped me kind of push myself to do whatever I wanted to do, so. Yeah, I kind of have like some of them like up here. So I have a lot of like George O'Keefe and Jackson Pollock. Um, of course, like Van Gogh, I feel like Van Gogh inspires like a lot of um, artists and stuff. Uh, love Andy Warhol and like the pop art kind of culture and stuff, so. I feel like definitely over the years I've kind of been exploring more like outside of the box techniques, especially for myself. Like before it would just be like paintings, you know, some of them would be like still lives or kind of more realistic stuff. And then when I got to college, I was definitely dabbling more into like the abstract stuff. And then after kind of dealing with that, I definitely went on to like the mixed media where I've been like, you know, incorporating different textures and materials and fabrics and whatnot. It's just kind of like whatever I feel so like whenever I've been painting things realistic or you know the still lights like I was saying didn't really like have like an emotional connection to it when I was making it so this stuff that I've been doing definitely has like more of me on it like um, whether it's like the metallic like gold leaf or um, you know the chunky textures over there and whatnot so definitely kind of more of like my self-expression in them. I definitely like sometimes will plan them out, but like, let's see. Honestly, most of these were just like spur of the moment, just kind of like, um, you know, I like these colors together. Let me see how I can like, work with them, so let me see what kind of like textures I can bring to it. So a lot of them are very like spur of the moment. But a lot of them are, I feel like there are a lot of like happy paintings. Like I don't really know if I like, have any like sad, you know, <laughs> so it's a lot of very happy stuff, so. <laughs> um, Nature is a huge inspiration for me. Like I love drawing. Um, a lot of like floral and stuff like that. Like that one is a lot of, was inspired by like some lotus flowers that I saw. So it's a lot of just like kind of my own take on a lot of like things in nature. Um, one artist that I follow on social media, her name is Sally Mustang. She's a huge resin pouring artist. And so her like use of color and whatnot has been a huge inspiration to like how I see color now. So. Definitely like a little bit of both. <laughs> Definitely in the future, I hope, you know, someday to open up my own art gallery. That's kind of been like a goal for me um, ever since, you know, I kind of really started taking this art seriously. Um, not necessarily to display my own art, but to help other artists, whether it is in like the Dallas area or wherever I do end up going for graduate school. You know, I hope to learn more from other professors and 
other people. I've learned a lot from the Nasher Sculpture Center here in Dallas. I had an internship with them and was on their like student advisory board for a really long time. So just getting like little bits and pieces from all these different people and then like using that to my own knowledge to eventually like create something, whether it is being like a full-time artist or opening up a gallery of my own someday. to think that but having like some experience now where um, my professors have um, kind of showed me that you don't need to have your work up to be validated as an artist as long as you're making and you're creating and you're just using your own self-expression then you're an artist you don't need like the whole art world backing you up I mean of course it's nice <laughs> but you know as long as you're happy with what you're making and I feel like that's all that matters.